Hello ladies and gents, I'm just coming to show you my completed lace cadder. Um, I have been selling this as a kit. Um, some of the components in the kit I haven't used um, because I didn't want to use laces and trims out of my shop because I'm a little bit tight. So what I've done is I've just used bits and bobs out of my stash. Um, I decided to go vintage and I've just used some Madame Perot paper and I've lined the whole box inside and out and even underneath um, with the paper line and then I've gone round the edges with um, walnut stain very very carefully to make sure that there's no gaps showing and where there were gaps showing I put the walnut stain on a mat sprayed it with water and went in in with a, a little paintbrush so there's no no none of the light coloured wood showing um, if I just take the spools out I can show you the the cadder you'll have to excuse the um, shadowing sorry one of the um, well two of the lights have gone in my craft room the bulbs have gone um, so <laughs> we're nearly working in dark here right so this is the cadder so what I did as I've said is I have let me just zoom in slightly no in not out I've covered it all inside and out very very carefully I even measured it properly before I cut it so it's absolutely per I wanted this project to be perfect um, and it is there's no flaws in it because I've checked <laughs> it's pretty good going for me um, so I've lined it all as I say inside and out and even on the bottom all with Madame Perot which I have been hoarding and then I um, added this um, pair of scissors charm here to keep it in a sewing theme because you know it's a, it's a caddy for laces and then I attached um, some bits of uh, charms and I made this one out of a, a, a cabochon holder and then I just put in a small um, image uh, just printed off the internet and glued on some little miniature flowers there we've also got a key and uh, here we've got a um, phone machine and I kept them all in the bronze tone to to keep in with the um, sort of vintage feel and then around each corner I've used a metal piece that you know we all have these in our stash and um, I'll just get one out to show you if I can find them these are the fellas here just these they're very inexpensive but you can totally use them in all sorts of ways and what I did here was I just cut the end I did cut the ends off and then just use that bit and you, you, I just bent it round the corners and they're really pliable and they're quite good and um, glued that on um, and I've put it on all four corners and then I did these lovely flower arrangements on the corners we've got blue flowers and we've got lilies and we've got bits of pink and leaves and then what I've done just to tone down the blue is I've just gone in with some watered down white acrylic and just giving them a bit of a white wash just to make it a little bit shabby as well as vintage and then I've used this metal piece here and fixed in this dress form cabochon and I did actually go over all the metal work as well with watered down acrylic just to tone it down a bit and if we look on the back there I've done the same there with the and just mirror imaged the um, flower display and the cabochon there okay and I've mirror imaged the top bouquet as well if you can see there yeah. I'm just going to zoom back out out <laughs> there we go right now so on top of that I then decorated the spools very very plainly I just tied on some seam binding as you can see by this one and then glued a small bow and then I've just put my lace round and it just fits in nicely um, I have got six spools for this one I did have more but this ladies over at Scrimpies have um, bought them all <laughs> so I was shortchanged myself but I've got some more coming from Fernley um, I don't charge any extra for the spools than Fernley's charge on their website it's the same money um, it's just that you know if I get them in bulk I can order what I need and get me free postage so I don't mind getting um, getting them in for the ladies if they want them um, when I'm ordering anyway so there you go and that's it full if you can just see um, I'll just tip it that way so it, it, it's hard to get a good camera angle 
on this item. Um, but it is, oops, the satin stuck. It is really, really pretty, and I'm really, really thrilled with what Fernley came up with for this kit for me. I've sold, I can't even tell, I'm not even going to tell you how many I've sold of these kits. Um, as I say, the, the components that I've used here aren't in the kit. This is in the kit that you have to build and six of the spools. Now I do have a few left. Um, I did order some extra in case anybody else wanted one because people keep asking for them. So I thought I'll get some in and I'll keep, them, keep a few extra in um, in case ladies want another one. Because once they've got it and they've built it, you know, um, they might want another one. So if anybody does want one, you can message me, private message me here, or come on over to Squimpy's um, Craft Boutique and request one on there. But that's the finished product item, <laughs> and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. And um, I know Jackie Douglas has put a video up of hers, which shows another alternative way to decorate them. I'll leave a link below, um, so you can go and see what Jackie did with hers. Hers is... Um, she um, covered hers with fabric. It's really, really pretty. As I say, I'll leave a link below. So that's my completed cadder. I hope you like it. Um, I hope it um, inspires the ladies that have bought the kit because there's an awful lot of ladies that have bought it. And uh, as I say, I do have a few, just a few left if anybody's interested. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.